What's up everyone? My name is Julia and welcome back to my channel. First of all, if you're asking yourself why you should learn to code and if it's the right thing for you, then check the video here. I'll also post a link and I'll explain a little bit more about what coding entails. I know taking the first step can feel challenging and even overwhelming, but I'm going to show you some free resources where you can start to learn to code and the best way to go about it. By the time you finish this video, you'll know exactly how to work toward your goals step by step. And better yet, you can learn to code online for free, meaning from the comfort of your couch at your own pace. And you don't need a college degree or pay for an expensive bootcamp for that. Yeah! Okay, so let's begin. I always ask this question first. Why are you interested in learning to code? There may be several reasons. It can be because you want to change your career, you're passionate about coding, you want to build a project, a specific project, because someone else told you so, or simply because you want to make more money, which is totally understandable. Knowing why can help you create a learning path and decide where to start. But it's okay if you don't know why and you're just hearing about this for the first time. I'm going to give you some resources that I think are helpful and how I think you should learn first. A good developer is a good developer no matter what the language is. So learning a language will help you understand the core concepts of programming. However, you need to start somewhere. So pick your first language wisely and you drastically shorten the time to hit your goal. Picking down a language boils down to what you want to do and that's why I just asked you why do you want to learn to code. Find what interests you and what do you want to pursue as a career. I've made a list of general development goals or engineering goals and what languages are the best options for them. These are not meant to indicate that these are the only languages you can use for a given domain. They, they are just my suggestions to what to start with. So front-end development, which is for user interface and interaction. I would suggest starting with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Backend development, which are for services that front-end web applications and mobile apps connect to. I would suggest you to study JavaScript or Ruby on Rails or Python or Java or even PHP. Depends on like what your goal is. Mobile development. So I would suggest Swift if you want to create apps for iOS or Java for Android. Game development, C++, Unity and C Sharp. Data science, you should start with R or Python. And also AI and machine learning, you should go with Python or Java. So naturally, there are other options for each of these career paths. I would suggest checking job postings where you want to work for and see what languages they require. Just remember, pick one and stick to it. You can always change your mind down the road, but you have to start somewhere. Once you've chosen a programming language to learn, it's time to actually start learning to code. It's time to put in everything in action. There are many resources online that will help you get started. I picked a few free online and I think you should stick with one. Here are some of my favorites. 100 Devs, it's an online and free bootcamp, coding bootcamp that will teach you to become a full stack developer. This is where I got started. I created a video explaining what it is and how it helps. And I think you should check it out. Free Code Camp. It provides free certifications in several areas like web design, JavaScript algorithms, data visualization, and information security. 
it, it goes enough in depth to allow you to explore further on your own and it's completely free so it's also worth checking it out the odin project it's another awesome platform but it requires a little bit more effort than the others since there is almost no video material at the beginning and you need to experiment to read to solve the tasks most courses with videos will hold your hand which is okay but then most likely you get bugged down when you're trying to do something on your own code academy it's a classic it has several free courses some paid ones uh, they are they range from friendly beginner to more advanced and they have exercises to accompany each course to help you improve your building skills. Scrimba is another great platform. Uh, it has interactive courses and it teaches everything from HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, Angular, etc. There isn't one best course, but the best one is the one that you actually finish. So just pick one and start as soon as possible. Once you start learning to code, you're going to run into problems that you don't know how to solve. This is normal and it's all part of the process. We've all been there and it takes practice to get unstuck. You don't really learn until you go through it. That said, you won't always be able to move forward without some help. Most developers, they just Google the error or look for the solution on Stack Overflow. Another way to get unstuck is to find community for people learning to code or forums dedicated to the language you're learning. A few tips to improve your search result when Googling an answer for your problem is to include the name of the language you're using, include the error in quotes, and try to explain it in as simple and with fewer words as possible. Sometimes you don't know how to express what you want to do, but you'll get better with it in time. Once you find a solution, don't copy and paste. Try to understand the code first and then adapt it to your own situation. Because if you just find a code, maybe it's wrong or it can take you down the rabbit hole because the concept was right, but it was not appropriate for your specific case. Sometimes it's also easier to just ask someone. Some places that you can look for help is on Twitter, on Reddit, on Slack uh, or other Discord communities. You can also ask for help at a meetup group. Just remember to explain the situation as clear as possible and let them know what you're trying to achieve. This is a great way to make friends as well. Self-teaching takes a lot of work, I admit, but when you surround yourself with the right people, with others that are in the same path as you, or even people that know more than you and can mentor you, you will definitely become more confident and keep going, especially when times get tough. Before I end this video, I want to tell you that the first two months are going to feel like you're trying to climb an unsurmountable mountain and you feel that you're the only person that doesn't understand the code. But this is called imposter syndrome, which is complete self-sabotage. So don't listen to that voice. Stay strong. You'll get there, I'm sure. That's it, folks. I hope I gave some helpful pointers. And if you have any other questions, just write in the comment or DM me on Twitter. I'm more than happy to help you. Also, feel free to share this video with uh, friends that you might feel want to start their career in tech or are feeling stuck and need a little push. I'm here to help. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button to help with the algorithm. Thank you so much. I'm rooting for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>